gather round folks for a sci-fi adventure that's apparently been pieced together from a post-apocalyptic cliches dartboard in the writer's HQ. Let's dive into the dazzling depths of Oblivion, a movie that's like a buffet of plot twists you've already sampled elsewhere. The futuristic year of 2077, aliens called scavengers decide they're bored with their own planets and opt for an Earth invasion instead. They kick things off by obliterating the moon because apparently causing cataclysmic tsunamis and earthquakes is their way of saying hello, Earthlings. Humans, never once to back down from an alien party, retaliate with nukes. Boom, scavengers defeated. But hold your applause. Earth has turned into a radioactive wasteland, and surviving humans pack up their bags and head to Saturn's moon Titan. There's a fancy spaceship called the Tet in orbit, managed by officials who also installed nifty hydro rig generators on Earth to create fusion energy. In this desolate world, only a couple remains, Jack Harper, the maintenance maestro, and Vika, his tower side partner. They're Tet employees handling hydro rig generators and repairing drones. Jack, known as Tech 49, takes on scavenger elimination duty with those drones. Vika, his vigilant coordinator, mostly remains in the tower keeping an eye on him. The movie kicks off with Jack waking up from a dream featuring an enigmatic woman. These recurring dreams have haunted him for ages. Jack explains he's plagued by a lack of memory from pre-war times, thanks to mission secrecy erasing their past. Hold on to your rocket boosters, because in a mere fortnight, Jack and Vika are trading Earth for the cosmic VIP section. Titan. Warning routine. Check. Jack inspects trash drones while Vika gives Mission Control's Sally a cosmic status update. Scavenger sleepover resulted in drone disasters. Jack's wrench magic and Vika's surveillance voodoo to the rescue. With duct tape bravery, Jack flies the drone back to life, proving that even intergalactic repair jobs are no match for him. Drone convinced Jack's not its arch nemesis takes off quicker than a caffeine charged rocket. But oh, the second drone's beacon is missing, making it a cosmic hide and seek. Jack's not one to sit around, so he hops on his bike and explores what were once oceans. He ends up at a sinkhole that promises more adventure than a theme park ride. Jack spots the second drone chilling in the sinkhole, but Vika's all like, danger zone, buddy. Jack, of course, goes full rubble and ropes down like a cosmic cowboy. Vika calls for backup. Jack finds an alien junkyard, but it's a trap. Scavengers show up, grabbing Jack's leg like it's the last piece of space pizza. Jack's like, nah, not today. Just as things get dicey, his knight in shining armor, the backup drone, swoops in, saving Jack's space bacon and leaving the scavengers to rethink their career choices. After the space dust settles, Jack heads home, probably craving some well-deserved space snacks. Jack gifts Vika a flowery weed, but she treats it like space kryptonite and tosses it. At dinner, Jack spills that scavengers were after him today. He's puzzled by their motives. Vika brushes it off and lures him to the pool, all siren song-like and ending the night with a starry-eyed kiss. Morning arrives with a cosmic alarm, a booming explosion. Jack hops onto his jet, zipping to the explosion's birthplace like a space detective on a caffeine high. Meanwhile, Sally rings up Vika, delivering the bad news. One hydro rig's gone kaboom, and it's not coming back. Farewell rig. Jack's not just a fixer, he's curious too. Mysterious signal piques his interest. Follow the breadcrumbs, voila, Empire State Building ruins. Jack does some snippy wire work, thinks he's outsmarting aliens, and he flirts with the radiation zone's boundaries. You know, a typical day in space office. Jack swings by his secret woodland oasis before heading home. It's his own personal sanctuary, decorated with his cosmic flair. Dreamtime arrives, starring an enigmatic girl in the Empire State Building. Plot twist, a vessel nosedives from the sky. Jack springs into action rocketing to his jet like a star-chasing dynamo. Vika buzzes Jack about the vessel's whereabouts, while Sally chimes in with, Ignore it. We're maxed out on cosmic weirdness today. Jack defies orders, lands at the crash site, and finds a blast from the past. A pre-war capsule with snoozing humans inside. Oh, and guess who's there? The girl from Jack's dreams makes this cosmic show a romantic blockbuster. Cue the drama. An uninvited drone crashes the scene, zapping pods left and right like a cosmic fireworks show. Jack intervenes, protecting the dream girl's pod from drone wrath. He scoops her up, but scavengers play cosmic voyeurs. Back at the tower, Vika's wide-eyed as Jack parades in with the girl pod. They free her, and just before the cosmic curtain falls, she whispers Jack's name. Fast forward, Julie wakes up and says hi, but mission details stay under wraps. Dinner chat turns historical. Jack's got tales of Earth's great escape. He suggests Julie's nap was a hopping 60 years, but she's all smiles defying cosmic time. Nighttime drama, Vika's got eviction plans for Julie, ready to dial up mission control. Jack's like, 
Wait up drones almost deleted her. To a suspenseful scavenger cameo from below, probably the universe's reality TV producer. Cut to Julie, gazing out a window like a cosmic philosopher. She wants a space field trip to her ship, desperate for a recorder that'll spill her crew's cosmic tea. But Jack's got reservations, scavengers madly stroll anyone. Julie's all carp diem, though. Off they go, revisiting Crash Central. Back home, Mick is brewing a space storm, probably imagining Jack and Julie holding hands in zero gravity. At the crash site, the deuce snags the recorder, but plot twist is incoming. Scavengers crash their party with knockout punches. Vika goes into panic mode as she watches the scavengers showdown on screen. The next morning, Sally's on the phone. Vika spins a yarn, omitting Julie's cameo. Jack and Julie's A takes a twist. Their scavenger VIPs now, tied up in style. Enter Malcolm Beach, cosmic detective. He quizzes Jack about memories, but they're in the Forgotten Files cabinet. Beach's quiz show continues. Scavenger sightseeing anyone. Then, surprise, lights up, human extras appear on set. Jack's cosmic jaw drops, he and Vika aren't the universe's last duo. Beach drops the space bomb, those so-called scavengers, their fellow earthlings and mission controls been spouting cosmic fibs. Jack's mind does a galactic somersault. Nah, can't be true. Next stop, the beach-led space tour. Jack's cosmic roller coaster continues. They spill the cosmic beans. They're on a cosmic mission to give Tet the resource-hungry alien, a taste of his own cosmic medicine. And guess what? Julia's ship, the Odyssey, made an appearance as a space explosive delivery vehicle. Jack, our cosmic conscience, stands firm. He won't snuff out fellow humans in Ted's game. An angry sergeant adds some drama. Play ball or Julia's out of here. Just in time, a drone crashes the cosmic party, scanning for scavengers. Beach swoops in, whisks Jack away like a cosmic stagehand and tasks him with a radiation zone quest. Jack and Vika. Radiation no-go zone. Mystery's on the other side, and they're about to dive in, but not before Beach waves the go-ahead flag. So off to the Empire State Building they jet. Their Jack spills his dreams, and boom, Julius' his wife. Way back, they were a space duo on a Titan research flight. Pods Vika and Jack piloting the space gang. Hold up, twist alert, Tet, the troublemaker, enters the scene. Julius' memory, poof. Jack's heart, ping. They almost lock lips, but guess who crashes? Jack's jet, Vika watches, heart cracked via Cosmic's CTV. Jack and Julia's tower return? Nope, Vika slams the Cosmic door. Cosmic snitch time, Vika calls HQ and declares Jack and Julia unfit. Plot twist. A drone death sentence for both. Vika's Cosmic gone, Jack's save the day moment. They bolt, drones in hot pursuit. Sky battle, crash landing in the radiation zone. Jack's like a space maestro, composes himself and spots a jet. Cosmic shocker. Another Jack steps out. Two Jacks, one cosmic mind-blown moment. Jack and the other Jack, easy tell, Tech 49 and Tech 52. Cosmic shove down, 49 takes the lead, but wait, cosmic casualty. Julia takes a hit. Jack goes superhero mode, hops on 52's jet and speeds to his tower. Surprise, Vika's alive and kicking there. He grabs a cosmic medkit flies back and saves the day. Off to the lake house, Jack's favorite cosmic chill spot, now with extra Julia. The next day, the scavengers lair in core, Beach's grand reveal time, Tet's a sneaky cosmic thief, roaming galaxies for loot. Earth's on its hit list, surprise, surprise, Jack and Julia. Tet's attack survivors and Jack's Houdini moves save the pod from Tet's clutches. Cosmic twist, Tet copy-pasted Jack and Vika and sent him as cosmic agents, Memory wipe included for mission mystery. Beach, the cosmic detective, sought Jack's not your average spaceman. Cosmic applause, Beach welcomes Jack back to Team Human. Now Jack's the cosmic fixer-upper, fixing the explosive drone for Tet's boon-boon time. But a cosmic curveball is incoming, a trio of drones crash the party. Q cosmic brawl, Beach's team versus drones. Mostly drones win. Beach's cosmic bruised, explosive drone busted. Enter Jack, cosmic MVP and cosmic co-pilot Julia. He's on Tet blasting duty, and Julia's got a nap pod ticket. Cosmic countdown, explosive drone set, engines roar, off to Tet's trouble zone they zoom. Jack's on a cosmic commute, tunes into Julia's ship's voice memo. Memory lane detour, he remembers pre-Tet days, ship tales included. Cosmic checkpoint, Jack reaches Tet's front door, it swings open. Surprise inside, Jack duplicates galore, incubation pods on overdrive. The grand finale, Jack faces Tet, a triangle of cosmic mystery. Jack's climactic move. 
Pop goes the hibernation pod and out comes Beach. Crafty plan. Jack left Julie safe and smuggled Beach in the Tet trip. Kaboom moment. Explosion ignited. Tet's toast. Humanity's safe. Bittersweet twist. Jack and Beach cosmic fade out. Fast forward three years. Julie is a cosmic mom and lake house life continues. Enter Beach's squad plus surprise guest Tech 52 Jack. Cosmic gaze. Tech 52 and Julia connect. Credits roll. Don't forget to cosmic click, like, and subscribe for more cosmic content.